So I thought I would do kind of a follow-up video for those that have watched uh, my little three videos where I went to Sony condo this year. And I'm totally representing uh, Sony because uh, the event itself was on, it was this side of amazing. First off, what is Sony Condo for those of you that may never have been there or for like a lot of us that may not have any idea what it actually is. So Sony Condo is, Condo, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, really just kind of means emotion. And if you looked at the back of this hoodie, that's kind of what it talks about. And it's kind of the feeling and, and what they kind of go for or hope for in regards to Sony gear, right, is to provoke emotion, to be able to capture emotion, et cetera, et cetera. Sony Condo 2023, again, first year for me, so uh, super, super awesome, is a two, it's a two full day for sure, kind of two and a half day, because you everybody kind of arrives on the very first day and they do something kind of from dinner time on. There's a couple of little like meet and greets. Second day and third day really is completely up to you. So they have a series of events. They have an app that gets, they, they release, um, which has things from like schedules, like events that are happening, uh, booking information. They have uh, like a social media input. So people that are posting in regards to it, you can see all those posts happening. They have an area that shows who's coming to it and you can actually, it's almost like its own little social media group where you can like invite people and be like, Hey, I want to be able to connect with you and they can accept or decline and, and you can, you know, chat with them, et cetera, et cetera, and be able to try to communicate with some people even before the event happens, which I actually did, which uh, I think was actually really helpful because outside of, you know, a lot of YouTubers like myself uh, and tech reviewers, you know, you're going to have high-end cinematographers, uh, DPs, uh, videographers, photographers, and photographers in all kinds of industries. Uh, and of course, those of us that shoot primarily on YouTube. Now, of course, this is a Sony event. So just realize that the majority of us have worked with Sony or use Sony on a day-to-day -day basis. Getting back to this meeting of people, there's a lot of people that have, YouTube-wise, have uh, not, they're just kind of starting out on YouTube. There's someone like myself that's in that 50,000 subscriber range. And then you have the high end of it where you have people that have multiple hundred thousand subscribers and some even probably over a million subscribers. So it's kind of nice to be able to reach out to some of these people ahead of time just to kind of get a feel, maybe even chat with them before you maybe go face to face where it can possibly be a little intimidating, right? Now, for the most part, I would say that everybody that I talk to, and again, this could be from YouTubers or photographers to people that actually work at Sony, and not just Sony marketing, but like the guys that make the cameras, the people that make the menu systems, uh, people that are the, you know, technicians uh, that build the actual lenses. I had an opportunity to sit with them. I'd sit with them during lunch or dinner. Everybody was so inviting. Uh, nobody was like, I, I don't have the time for you, et cetera, et cetera. If they were there, uh, everybody would just chat. And, if, and it was kind of like that, you know, big circular tables or big long tables so that you could just be like, hey, there's a spare seat. Mind if I sit here? No, have a seat. And then you'd end up talking with people at the table, which was fantastic. Everybody at that point would kind of share their socials and figure out and talk about and what you've done, and et cetera, et cetera. Now, a lot of you know, and this is probably one of the biggest reasons for a lot of us to go to this event. A lot of you know that myself, I shoot a mixture of cameras. Um, the two camera brands that I shoot with are Canon and Sony. So my full frame cameras and things like that, are primarily Canon. And the reason for that is just because I've shot Canon since way back in the film days. 
but all my newer cameras, things that I use for vlogging, and a lot of the cameras that I use upstairs are Sony's. Example, right here, I do have my Sony little ZV-1F. I have a ZV-1 downstairs that I use for some gaming stuff when I feel bored. And of course, I have my little ZV-E1, just with kit lens. And they, they do fantastic. I, I, I love the ZV line of cameras. But I did want to be able to try some other cameras, especially cameras that normally would be way out of my price range or cameras that I'm like, mm, possibly in the future whenever I buy my next camera. So during this time, I had the opportunity to try the ZV-E1, which was a camera that I was most interested in. I got to try the new Sony A7C-R, which was a beast of a camera, really liked it. Uh, I think for me, even though I love the R because of the 61 megapixels of photos, little tech thing, uh, I probably would just get the two because of the fact that I think it has more video prowess in some aspects. And honestly, as much as 61 meg megapixels is like yowza, uh, it's just beyond my needs. So I think the two would be like, that's right now, that's probably the camera that is number one on my list of that would be awesome, you know? Um, and then finally, I got the chance to try the Sony a7R5. The big reason that I wanted to try that camera was primarily because I wanted to be able to shoot in 8K. And again, wh when am I going to get the chance to be able to go somewhere to shoot 8K? And not just go into a Best Buy or a camera store and be like, hey, I want to pop in my own memory card and shoot 8K around the stores and take the card home. But no, I could, I could take this camera for like a, a day. I could have taken it for two days. I actually took it for about a day and a half. So uh, you get a really good opportunity. The other thing that was really nice about going to a Sony event like this was that it's, it's full of Sony people. And there was a lot of times, for instance, that I would have a Sony camera. And because I'm not overly familiar with the menu system, this was a fantastic time to be able to reach out to somebody or talk to somebody and be like, I'm trying to figure out how to do this but I can't find it in the system. I can't find it in the menu system anywhere. And sure enough, somebody would either help me find it or would go find the answer or would tell me if it can be done or if it can't be done. It didn't matter. It didn't matter where I was. I could have been at the top of a mountain asking this question. Somebody would, would be able to answer it. I could have been down at the bottom. Someone was able to answer it. And I had plenty of questions and, and, and people that were from Sony, Super, super helpful, as well as I actually had some other people that just use Sony, so other photographers and vloggers, et cetera, et cetera, YouTubers. Again, you had no problems going up and being like, hey, I have a question, got this camera, don't know how to do, blah. Thank you, on my way. Super, super awesome. Um, food was great. Hey, you get three days of, of them feeding you. But like, why, why would you pass that up? You know, the only reason you would pass it up is if you were like me and you had to fly from Nova Scotia all the way to Calgary and then down to Utah. And you, you know, you have, you know, 10 plus hours, possibly on a plane, 13, 14 hours of travel that day. You might be like two days of that. But for me, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, hotel accommodations are always good. You're treated first class, first class. And I have to say, when I went there, I barely even got off the plane, the final plane, because I had to take multiple planes. Uh, and you can kind of tell even on the plane, especially if you either leave from a big city or you are like me, where you have a layover in a fairly big city. Me leaving from Halifax, I don't think there was anybody else on the plane from Halifax that was going to this Halifax. We're, we're not very big in Nova Scotia. Um, but when I landed in Calgary, uh, I could tell pretty much right away that there were certain people that I'm like, oh, I think they're going. Oh, I think they're going. Number one is you look at camera backpacks because we all have them. Um, and of course, when we landed, there's a person walking that has a, a condo sign and we all kind of gathered there. And it was a great place to kind of have first meetups and because our, our motel, our hotel, our resort that we were going to was about an hour away, you're in a bus together, a shuttle, and you've got 
a good hour to really interact with this small group of people. So you, right off the bat, before you even get to condo, most of the time you're going to have a, at least a base of two, three, four, five people that you kind of know already, especially if you're like me, where you're going there by yourself. You don't know anybody. It's your first time. It can be, it can feel, it can feel intimidating. It can feel, I don't know. I was really anxious and nervous and excited all at the same time, all at the same time. I remember the day before my flight, I was just like, Oh, I am, I am, bleh. but I'm good. I'm good now. I'm good now. Uh, so yeah, you know, condo is a, an amazing, it's an amazing experience. Again, there's tons of stuff to do. There's tons of things to photograph. There's tons of things to video. There's tons of events and workshops and whatever you can kind of think of that you can go to if you so choose. At this year's condo, you could book out models so you could go do photo shoots on your own. There was pre-set up photo shoots if you wanted to go photograph, ones that were just kind of set up already. Uh, they have tons of meet and greets. You can talk to people from YouTube. You can talk to the guys that make these cameras. And of course, you get a ton of opportunity to meet with other creatives. So that ability to possibly do future collaborations could be really good. I know for me, I had the opportunity to meet with Jevin Dovey, which uh, we had a really good last night talk over dinner. Uh, and because of some of his recommendations and because of the things him and I discussed, you'll probably see some changes on uh, this channel, which I appreciate. Um, he was he was really awesome to talk with. I met with another YouTuber, Armando, that uh, is a camera slash film slash tech reviewer. Again, was a, was a fantastic person. Um, a whole bunch of different people from all over both US and Canada. And uh, probably the person that stuck out the most was actually Jesse Driftwood. And uh, the hope is, here's the hope. We, we actually have stayed in contact since I've gotten home. And I'm hoping to be able to possibly head on down to the Toronto way area to possibly do a collaboration with him or shoot some stuff in his studio and meet some other Torontonians in the area. So if you do get invited to condo, should you go? It's not, it's not even a question. Just drop whatever you're doing. Just drop it and say yes and go. If I had to say in one word to me what condo represented what how it made me feel i think there's a, and there's a lot of words uh I, I think the biggest one would be just inspirational you know i i literally came away from there feeling inspired which how do you, how do you beat that and lastly uh i may want a sony camera yeah i may want a sony camera it's it's a Maybe my next one. We'll see. All right, guys, if you do get invited to Sony condo, uh, go. And I hope that I get the opportunity to go again. And maybe you and I will meet. All right, my friends, that's it. Later.